We're just bracing for a big hit from Sandy, this hybrid monster. We are now to the point of no return. Six months after the massive superstorm roared across the northeast coastline, the National Hurricane Center says there will never be another Hurricane Sandy. We don't want to use the name Sandy again. It's mostly to acknowledge the severe extent widespread impacts on so many people. Historically, tropical storm names are reused every six years, all except for some of the very worst, like Katrina, Rita, Andrew, and Hugo. Sandy is the 77th Atlantic storm name to be retired since 1954. It was one of the largest, costliest, and deadliest storms in recent memory. 147 people died, the largest number of direct fatalities in the Northeast since Hurricane Agnes in 1972. Every single person on this block lost everything. Sandy caused devastation from Maryland to Maine, some that has still not been completely cleaned up. In the U.S., the, the damage estimates are in the, in the neighborhood of $50 billion. Representatives of the World Meteorological Organization nominate the names to be retired when future use of the name could be insensitive or confusing. But not all devastating storm names are retired. Isaac killed many people in Hispaniola, some in the U.S., caused $2 billion worth of damage in this country, massive power outages, rooftop rescues from storm surge flooding, so it's surprising that that name wasn't retired. It is not that we don't recognize the severe impacts of Isaac and other storms from 2012. It's just that uh, we have to set uh, the subjective bar at some level, and it's a pretty high bar. The name Sarah will replace Sandy in future lists of named storms. I'm meteorologist Kelly Cass for the Weather Channel.